the book of Acts of the Apostles, chapter 16. My English is very horribly, sufferably. Enfim, have a compassion, mercy with me. Have a great, wonderful, blessed, and a happy day. Let's go. Then came he to Derby and Lystra, and behold, a certain disciple was there, named Timotheus. Timotheus? Timotheus. Timotheus. The son of certain woman, which was a Jew, and believed it. But his father was a Greek, which was well reported of by the Bethlehem that were as Lystra and Iconium. He and Wold Paul had to go forth with him and took and circumcised him because of the Jews which were in the those quarters, for they know all that his father was a Greek. And as they went through the cities, they delivered then the decrees for the keep that were organized of the apostles and elders which were at Jerusalem. And so were the church established in the faith and increased in number daily. Now, now, when they had done, drove out Perigia, Prigia, Phrygia, and the religion of Galatia, and were forbidden of the Holy Spirit to preach the word in Asia. Asia. After they were come to Mysia, they asked to go in Bithynia, but the Spirit suffered them not. And they passing by Mysia came down to Troas. And a vision appeared to Paul in the night. There stood a man of Macedonia and prayed him, saying, Come over into Macedonia and help us. And after he had seen the vision immediately, we devoured to go into Macedonia surely, gathering that the whole the Lord had called us for to preach the gospel unto them. Therefore losing from Troas we came with a straight course to Samot Terracia, and the next day to Neapolis, and from thence to Philippi, Philippi which is the chief, chief city of that part of Macedonia and a colon, and we were in that city abiding certain days and on the sabbath we went out of the city by a riverside where prayer prayer was wont to be made and we sat down and spoke unto the woman which resorted Tita. And a certain woman named Lydia, a city of purple, of the city of Tiatira, which worshipped God, heard us. Whose here the Lord opened that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. And when she was baptized, 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 and her household, household, she saw us saying, If ye have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come to, come to my house and abide thee. 
there, there. And she constrained, constrained us. And, and she constrained, constrained us. And it came to pass as we went to pray, a certain damsel possessed with a spirit of divination, divination met, met us, which broke her masters much gain by so saying. The same followed Paul and us and cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God. We show show unto us the way of salvation. And this did she many days. But Paul, being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to come out of her. And he came out the same, same hour. And when her masters saw that the hope of their gains was done, they called Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers, and blow them to the magistrates, saying, This man, being Jews, to exactly probe our city, and teach customs, which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to observe, being Romans. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrates grant of their clothes and commanded to beat them. And when they had lied many strips upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them suffering, who, having received, received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stocks. And at uh, midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sung praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened, and everyone's bands were loosed, and the keeper of the prison awoke out of his sleep, and seeing the prison doors open, they drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. Paul, but Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas, and broke them out, and said, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved in the house. And they spoke unto him the word of the Lord, and to all that were in his house. And he took then the same hour, hour of the night and washed their strips, and was baptized he and all his strength away. And when he had broke them into his house, he set meat before them and rejoiced believing in the God with all his house. 
and when it was day, the magistrates sent the sergeants, sergeants saying, let those men go. And the keeper of the prison told the saying to Paul, the magistrates have sent to let you go, now therefore depart and go in peace. But Paul said unto them, They have beaten us openly, uncondemned, being Romans, and have cast us into prison, and now do they trust us out privily? Nay, verily, but let them come themselves and fetch us out. And the sergeants told these words unto the magistrates, and they feared when they heard that they were Romans, and they came and bestowed them and brought them out and desired them to depart out of the city, and they went out of the prison and entered into the house of Lydia, and when they had seen the better hand they comforted Ben and departed. Deus te abençoe você e sua família. Espero que tenha entendido alguma coisa aí, se você sabe inglês. Qualquer dica para ler melhor, eu aceito os comentários. E se quiser colocar um link de algum vídeo, depois eu dou uma olhada. Deus abençoe você e sua família e tenha um maravilhoso dia. Have a wonderful, great, happy, blessed day. Bye.